Can I lick your sweaty feet? Ah, oh, what a great way to start the video. Yikes, that literally has nothing to do with tattoos. Might post this on Reddit for a whole two karma. Yikes, who really cares what you do? <laughs> what? <laughs> this has 8,800 upvotes. I think a few people care. Oh, you poor thing. You got upset, did you? Because somebody didn't like you saying, can I lick your sweaty feet? <laughs> I don't know what you expect. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Dude, I didn't say my normal intro once again. <laughs> the world must be falling apart. I woke up, the sun's shining, the birds are chirping. All around, just a really nice sort of day, you know? And I think we should just make it way worse. <laughs> or better, I don't know. Depends how you think about it. Either way, we're going to get creeped out today with some creepy private messages. The people that you never want to talk to. <laughs> well, like, maybe you do just for entertainment purposes. But, like, for the most part, it's probably a good idea to keep your distance from these people. But we're different. We're brave. We're going to walk down into these dirty, stinky basements <laughs> and take a look at these conversations. Let's jump right into it. Can I see your butthole? Sure, it's on my OnlyFans. No? All right, suit yourself. Just because I don't want to give you blank money does not mean I need to kill myself. You're, uh, you know, and need to get a real job. You need to kill yourself. Can you read? I said suit yourself and have a Snickers, babe. You're not you when you're hungry. No, you're really not. I want the old you back. The one that doesn't misread everything. She didn't say end yourself. She said suit yourself. <laughs> a perfectly reasonable thing to say. These guys are so ready to just unleash their anger on random people. They just find ways to do it even though they're completely wrong. You will feel my rage. You're a minor and I'm an adult. Please, just one of your butt. <laughs> Dude, you're a minor. Please. Bye. Aw. Could I know then which color your underwear is? Are you really not interested? Are three years really really so big for you. Are you really not interested? In what? <laughs> Who would be? What's there to be interested in here? You're just some creepy random person. If I didn't accept this offer, I could never live with myself. What are you talking about? Are three years really so big for you? <laughs> three years is three years. It's not bigger or smaller for anyone. <laughs> Dude, I love these people. They make no sense and it's so, so fun to read. I just want to know how they're thinking. I want five minutes in their brain please. Hey, so random, but I'm 26 and I think I might be around your age. I just wanted to say, not sure if you're into guys, girls, or both, but you're a good looking dude, so if you're ever in here and single down the road, hit me up. As much as I do appreciate the compliment, I'm straight. Thanks, though. Whoops! <laughs> I'm into women mostly, not into sex with dudes, but have a big massage and tickling fetish for dudes. Totally weird, I know. Would love to treat you to one if you ever switch teams and find yourself in the area. Just saying, haha, <laughs> but nice to meet you anyhow. Seriously, you know, if that's what you're into whatever totally cool and they're just sort of being like you know if it ever happens you know i'm here <laughs> they're not being too pushy they're not being too creepy yeah you probably didn't expect that but we're gonna see a lot worse today mm, please ha 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 what's your snap ew ha ha send me your p <laughs> uh p word lol how much you weigh <laughs> how can you go from send me your to somehow send them to me you know express post please to how much you weigh why <laughs> just hold on i want to check what you BMI is. <laughs> okay, so what do you weigh? How tall are you? And do you have any allergies? <laughs> I feel bad for talking about how much I want to freak you now. It's a lot, by the way. I'm not keen on hookups, just so you know. But I do enjoy sex, and it's important to me that the women I'm with enjoys freaking me too. I've been in a couple of relationships the last couple of years, but nothing that lasted more. It's a lot, by the way. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm starting to see why these relationships didn't work and apparently everything was going totally fine and then this guy just pulled this out <laughs> oh god it's probably not the only thing you pulled out pushing your head down into the bed in doggy with your hands tied or pinning you down on top with your legs tied together unable to move or do anything then take my ginger willy <laughs> ginger why'd you have to add ginger in there have you got jaundice my lovely you should see a doctor do you know what jaundice is you lunatic <laughs> yep i'm a vet nurse 
first mate. Why is your willy ginger? <laughs> that ain't healthy. And I'm a trainee F1 doctor in the NHS ginger because my hair's ginger, you dafty. <laughs> it's so funny that a guy this creepy would call it a willy. You'd imagine that they'd be like, take my sword of power. But no, they're like, take my ginger willy. <laughs> I don't want these mental images. Hey, so how many other horny guys like me have hit you up in your DM since you posted a selfie? Freak off, I'm 16. Yeah, I know, I'm 17. Still F off, you creep. Yeah, right, you're 17. <laughs> Dude, times that by like three, probably. <laughs> I don't trust any of these guys for a second when they say they're 17. I'm sure you are. <laughs> you're a liar, honey, a dirty, rotten liar. You model? For my own pictures, yeah. Perfect. Gothic? I mean, it depends. Sometimes it's more punk. Do you like BDSM? That's an awfully personal question to be asking a complete stranger. Why do you want to know? Some photos like it. I don't have any BDSM photos. I'm just wearing gas masks, leather jackets, and army helmets. Thumbs up. <laughs> Super. Not porn photos. No, I'm a photographer who occasionally models her own shoots. I don't do porn. There's nothing on my page to indicate that I do. Have you got? Can you send me? <laughs> what in the goddamn? I don't know what it is with these guys and just not being able to speak. But that's a common theme amongst all of these guys, you know. And it kind of makes it creepier. <laughs> hey, sexy. How are you this morning? Where have you been? Who is this? I have a new number. It's Kevin. We met on WhatsApp. Sorry, Kev. I don't have WhatsApp. You have the wrong number. Is this Michelle? This is the second guy to ask for Michelle, homie. If you talk to her on WhatsApp, tell her to change her number on social media. Do you want to see my willy? Is hard. I'd like to see yours. Kevin, it's 8.16 in the goddamn morning. May God bless you. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Kev. And then he proceeds to send a picture of his ding dong. Kevin, do you have Parkinson's? Your camera is shaky at air. And you have a little PP. Stop texting me. This is you in bed trying to take a picture. <laughs> Dude, send me some high quality snaps right now. And he does. <laughs> Kevin, that's nothing to flaunt or be proud of. Please stop, homie. I'd rather die of this COVID than to see that. Do you know you'd love to suck on that thing and it's bigger than most of them? Is it though? Is it really, Kevin? Is that what helps you sleep at night? Go on, get. <laughs> Go find some dude or lady or whatever to send your unsolicited ding dong pics to or I blow you up on Reddit. <laughs> Too late, Kevin. You've already been blown up on Reddit. May God bless you. <laughs> God, you'd have so much fun responding to someone like this, wouldn't you? I don't want it to ever happen, but it would be really funny. God bless you, Kevin. Sex? Also, hung and a monkey. And then two monkeys that aren't looking and a love heart face. <laughs> and terrifying Peppa Pig. Yes. What do you mean yes? Yes to what? I don't think this is going to work out for you. Dude, you just respond to everything with yes. <laughs> Full stop. How are you today? What's going on? Yes. <laughs> Peppa the pig with sunglasses and big lips and like weird everything? Yes. Are you very, very creepy and am I terrified right now? Yes. Hi. Hello. Who's this? Your sex secret admirer. Well then, who am I? You know, you're... What else do you know? You're 14 or 15 and you have glasses. Who are you? Oh, there shouldn't be a comma. <laughs> yeah, because that matters. How did you acquire my number? I don't know. Then give me a reason not to block you right now. I like you. Really? Okay, bye. XOXO, bye. Hey, stalker. Listen, if you're going to keep doing this whole creepo stalker thing, I'm doing it right back. Give me a real name, how you know who I am, and how you got my number within the next 24 hours. If not, I either reverse search your phone number and get all that and your address or I get police involved. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Please block me. No, no. You've gone down this rabbit hole. If you know me well enough to like me, you should have known I was going to do this. If this is a prank, just say so. Come on, I'm giving you a chance. E, but it's re. It's all fun and games until something bad happens, you know. Like these creepy stalkery things are really weird and you should take them seriously 100%. I did enjoy that, but just be careful, won't you? <laughs> hey. Hi. Sorry, I fell asleep. It happens once a month when I think I'm just about to melt down into a psychotic episode and get stuck in psychosis induced version of reality where I'm stuck in the movie Time Cop. <laughs> Michael changed the chat theme to Maple. My standards pull me out. Shut my brain off. I hate Time Cop. So, you're pretty sexy. I'm a forward self-engaged cancer with way too much time off and an extremely badass ding dong. So I've been told. No, you may not see it. And then a long nose emoji. Oh, what? So you're like calling yourself a liar? How do you have a bad ass Willy. It's got like a little cape and a cool hat. <laughs> it shoots flames and stuff. I need more information, but at the same time, I don't want it. Gorgeous. Thank you. Here's two photos. Open if you dare. Yeah, I'm not opening that. Haha. <laughs> Whatever you 
want. I'm not interested. Oh, here's another picture. Okay. I'm not going to open any picture you send me. Leave me alone. Open the last. You won't regret it. Okay. No. Do you do private bookings? No. Why? Because I'm not a sex worker. Not for sex. You can tease. I'm not interested. Shame. Not for me. How regular do you have sex? Dude, I'm not interested. Take the hint. Okay. Dude, please tell me they actually took the hint. <laughs> like, leave people alone. Know when to stop. This is never okay and you should never think that it is. They actually really freak me out, these sorts of people. Like, come on. Don't go around doing this sort of stuff. Um, we're 12 hours apart. Here in India, it is sex time. All people sex at this time <laughs> in night. Congratulations. But I'm alone. I'm so sorry for you. No sex with anyone. <laughs> because no such time. Always busy with duty. In America, we only have sex once a year during mating season. In India, every day, two to three daily, sex is must. Oh, God. Guys, that's a wonderful time to end this video here. I think I delivered on my promise today. They were some really creepy private messages. And guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you guys do have any creepy conversations of your own, feel free to send them to me on Instagram if you want them to be in a video. But yeah, other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you smash like if you enjoyed this video. It really helps out my channel and helps it grow. And yeah, leave a comment down below what you thought. I'd love to hear how you guys are going. All right, let's do the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day goes to Jack Ball. This subreddit makes me want to commit self-Hiroshima, but watching them with Vinci reading them makes them acceptable. <laughs> I love that because I feel like that's a pretty common consensus with all of these videos. <laughs> I'm so glad that me reading them makes it a little bit easier to digest. You can hear in my voice I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. I just want you guys to know that you're much appreciated and I'm always here for you. Thanks for everything. Have a lovely day, guys. Have a lovely night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with another probably scary, creepy video, but it'll be a lot of fun. I'll see you then.